It is fantasy football time. Playoff time. That's it. Fantasy football playoff time. Cut. Let's try that again. It's fantasy playoff time, and I'm not in it. This sucks. I don't know 100%, but I think this might be the first year in the history of the Keeper Fantasy League that I'm not in the playoffs. I think I've always made the playoffs in this league. Kareem Hunt, I blame you. Andy Reid, I blame you. Offensive line for the Chiefs, I blame you. Because Kareem Hunt sucked for me. Should have made that trade with Craig, and I didn't. My fault. Anyway, I'm not keeping you on my team, Kareem Hunt. That's for sure. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm not. this is a weird year because there's a couple teams that are always in the playoffs in this league, and they're not this year. Me, Travis, and Efren all are not in the fantasy playoffs. But there is one familiar face that always seems to be in this freaking playoffs, and it's Craig. And Craig, you're the number two seed. Now, however, there are some familiar faces in the playoffs, but usually aren't that good. Like um, Bill, Miami Finns. What the heck? You're the number one seed. The number one seed, Bill. I don't, I mean, and you haven't even paid attention. Seriously, guys, he has not paid attention to fantasy football at all because he's been really busy with work. Hasn't paid attention at all, and he is the number freaking one seed. Who did he end up beating? He beat, where are you at? Freaking Finns. 184 points. Whooping bad influence. Kicking Mike O'Reilly out of the playoffs, into the toilet bowl. With a man, he just Melvin Gordon got 19 points, Jarek McKinnon 18, Lamar Miller 17. I swear his team is like, uh, it won't get hurt. Like I said, he has a great starting lot roster, but if you look at his bench, his bench sucks. He has nothing on the bench. It's a starting loss roster that's good. And it won't get hurt. And I said, watch out for Bill's team. But once injuries start happening, he's done for. But his team has not gotten injured. They won't go down. And I guess he's just going to keep winning because of it. So he earned a number one seed because of that starting roster. Congratulations. The number two seed, Craig, obviously. Um, we'll see how far he goes because his team is good. As usual... I mean, Craig, you have quarterback issues because you don't believe in your uh, drafting a good quarterback. You just draft a decent quarterback, which, I don't know. If you start drafting the good quarterbacks, your team would be unstoppable. And I think your pickup of Mike Davis just might have sealed your fate for going to the championship game because, yeah, Mike Davis looks like the real deal, and they're going to use him a lot now. So now you got Le'Veon Bell. Mike Davis, and Alvin Kamara as your starting running backs. Oh, you do have DeMarco Murray, but yeah, why play him when he's always dinged up? So you got those three guys, which I would be playing. You're still a little questionable on wide receiver. Like, very questionable on wide receiver. So that is going to hurt you. But Marquise Goodwin is all they got, right? So they got to throw to him. So there's one wide receiver who's a no-namer but gets points. And Sterling Shepard has, now that Eli supposedly is going to be starting again, Sterling Shepard might tear it up. So, once again, Craig, you're back in the good graces of fantasy football. And I think your team is just as good as any to make it to the championship game. Hope I didn't jinx you. But, uh, yeah, I think your team could do it. Chargers defense is stud. Greg Zerline, he's been un unbelievable this whole year. It's just your quarterback. What quarterback? Do you play? Uh, you w beat Silver and Black by 22, which knocked Silver and Black out of the playoff hunt. I think he would have been a six seed anyway, so Silver and Black's probably glad he's going to the toilet bowl because he has a better chance of winning his money back, or at least most of his money back. Uh, so I played Make It Count Elliot, which obviously I got my butt whipped. Hey, and Jimmy Garoppolo still got me 21 points. I would have lost either way. And now I got Jimmy Garoppolo, who I maybe I'll keep. I seriously doubt I will. I mean, I got Aaron Rodgers, so hopefully his average value next year is awesome, and I'll keep Aaron Rodgers. And Fester, 
Beats Zeke and Destroy. What does that do for Ray Fester? Does nothing because he's still going to be finished second in his league, in his division. We'll Gives him the number four seed. Uh, and I'll get to Zeke and Destroy in a minute. Don't worry. Uh, Bill won. No place like Mahomes somehow gets in the playoffs because he beats Pete Taka, who's had a horrible year. Travis, like I said, Travis beats Big Red, but he's had a ho we've all had bad. Me, Travis, all had bad years this year. So, Zeke and Destroy finally squeaks in to the playoffs. That's all you need. You just, you're like the Chiefs. You just need a chance, right? Just, you're in the playoffs. Anything can happen, right? Tom Brady is your quarterback. Somehow Marshawn Lynch woke up from the dead yesterday, but will he go back to the grave next week? Probably. You know, I'm looking at your roster, Brian, and yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of hope there for you. Maybe you'll somehow win your first game. I don't think so, but maybe it's possible. I mean, I think you would uh, no, no, you would have lost this week if you played him. So, I mean, it's possible. Anything can happen. But, Brian, congratulations on finally making it to the playoffs. I didn't. So, here is what we have for our fantasy football seedings for the playoffs. Number one, Bill. Craig, number two. Gilkison, make it count Elliot, is number three. The Fester is number four, who will be playing uh, playing his first game against Mark Winslow. <laughs> so, Mark, uh, what's your team name called? Something Mahomes. There's no place like Mahomes. And uh, which, yeah, there there is going to be no place like Mahomes next year. I can't wait for that. And then Brian, number six, who will be playing Gil uh, Gilkison. The Toilet Bowl. We got Efren, then Chris Drake, then Mike O'Reilly, then myself, then Travis, and then Mike Lehman, who pulls up the rear. Uh, King of the Mountain is still, I think Chris, no, it's Efren. Efren at 205.1 point. And then the Pickums. With three weeks left, by the way. Well, there's three weeks left of the King of the Mountain and Pickums. You have a two-way tie with Efren and bad influence Mike O'Reilly at 53. And then you got no place like Mahomes two points behind. And then a lot behind those. So that's what we got. The Chiefs suck. Yeah, they do. It's frustrating. One day, all of our ingredients will work together. Defense, offense, special teams will all combine to play together. But so far, they flip a coin and say, all right, this week, tails. Crap. Okay, offense, you're supposed to play good this week. Defense, take it off. Because really, that's what's happening. Offense and defense are flipping, switching weeks on when they want to play well together. Or play well. Last week, defense. This week, offense. Sucks. Can't win. Freaking Chiefs. I got the Raiders to win the, against the Chiefs at Arrowhead, and it'll knock us out of the playoffs. Why do you say this will knock us out of the playoffs? Well, let's just see here. There is one, two, three, four games left. Four games left. If we lose to the char Chargers or the Raiders or the Chargers next week, that means we got to gain two games because they'll own the tiebreaker, which means we got to beat them outright. And right now we're tied, so we got to win a game plus – not be tied with them. So we're going to have to hope that the Chargers lose two games after, or Raiders lose two games after they beat us, and we'd have to win all the rest. That ain't going to happen. We're done for. Done for. Anyway, um, that's it. Don't forget the NFL playoff system is going to, uh, league is going to be starting soon, obviously. Uh, so be on the lookout for the link to that. Good luck to everyone in the playoffs, and um, I mean, not that I give a crap because I'm not in it, so whatever. More money for everyone else, none for me. But have a great week.